This is CNIB Lake Joe. CNIB Lake Joe logo, an illustration of a sailboat outlined in a black paintbrush style design. A dash of yellow paint appears on the sailboat. Centered text, CNIB Lake Joe. Welcome to CNIB Lake Joe on the go, Lake Joe on the go. Hello everybody and welcome to our new podcast series, CNIB Lake Joe on the go, where we have a new theme every time and we keep things short and sweet so you can listen at home or if you're on the go. Today's episode, we are starting off this series talking about our favorite memories of Lake Joe. I am your host, Taylor G. I am a CNIB Lake Joe staff, and today I am joined by three wonderful people who have experienced Lake Joe in person and Lake Joe at home virtually. We have Don, Bruce, and Bill. Would you guys like to say a quick hello? Hello, I'm Don Barton. I'm from Windsor, Ontario. Thank you for inviting me to the podcast. Uh, my name is Bruce, and I've been attending Lake Joe for the past 11 years. Hello, this is Bill McKendry. I've been attending Lake Joseph for, for as, long as, as long as I have been. I've been attending it with, with my, my family first, and, then, and, and now, now I just go by myself and, and with, the, with the camp bus. And I, I, I just love it. That's awesome. You guys have so much experience at Lake Joe. I was wondering if for the listeners that don't know what Lake Joe is, would you guys mind helping me explain what Lake Joe is? It's a CNIB summer camp with uh, with a swimming and and tubing and the pad, uh, pad, paddle paddle boating and the, uh, the uh, Voyager canoes and. And then there's, you know, we have a we have a lounge, dining hall, and, and and cabins. That's right. We got the whole setup. It's just a great place to get away if you ha- are in an apartment or, you know, you'd like to get out and just enjoy the fresh air. It's it's a fully accessible uh, camp for the blind and visually impaired. Right. And people get to come out and try new experiences. You know, it builds up confidence. Um, you know, you, you meet new friends. It's just a, it just makes it a summer of a lifetime and unforgettable too, I might add. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for your wonderful descriptions. Don, you actually made a perfect segue into our first question, which is uh, discussing our favorite Lake Joe memories. So yeah. who would like to start sh- by sharing their memories? I know, Bill, you said that you liked tubing. Is there yeah. any other memories that you would like to share about your time at Lake Joe? When we did the, when, when I, when the, the talent show and, and, I, and, and, I first, and, and I met up with my girlfriend, Faye. That's right. Yeah, so uh, talent show is one of the super fun and exciting activities that we have at camp every Friday. Uh, it's a great way to end off the week and everybody yeah. gets to share their wonderful talents. So that's a wonderful memory that you've shared there, Bill. Yeah. I love, I love singing the Irish Rovers. And of yeah. course, I was just, I, I always uh, sing Tabby Wynette, especially for Don. There's Don's favorite one, Stand By Your Man, Tabby Wynette. <laughs> right, Don? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Don, do you want to go next with sharing your sure. memories? Um, yeah. Um, well, um, my I guess my favorite memories of Lake Joe in general. I love to gather out in the porches. Uh, you know, they have the the uh, screened in porches at night. Um, everybody goes out and you know we socialize, have a few drinks, just you know, just chat and just have a good time. All kinds of laughs and parties and all all that. So that's <laughs> another that's one memory I love and. Uh, I love swimming. Like I love the lake because it's so clean. The lakes here around here in Windsor, like they're no good. They're all polluted and it's just no good. So it's nice to go up to um, a nice camp where you, the water is crystal clear. I've been told that you could see right to the bottom of the lake, I was told. And it's just like, it's almost like when you go up there, you just don't want to come home. And uh, like, I enjoy <laughs> swimming crafts. Um, like I like, I like the pedal boats. I like the pontoon. I think that's 
I think that's a favorite of everybody's pontoon. The pontoon. Can't forget that. (laughs) And uh, just the idea of like you know you get to see old friends and meet new ones and new experiences and uh, you get to try different things and try the things that you uh, that you did before and you try different new activities. It's so true. I guess it's hard (laughs) to pick one thing that is is. amazing about Lake Joe, right? (laughs) Bruce, we want to hear from you. Well, my famous or favorite memories, I guess, is maybe like the first night I was there and we went out on the big Voyager canoe and we were. Oh, yeah, the Voyager, yeah. And uh, one of the girls said, quit splashing me. And it almost seemed like she was going to jump overboard and try to swim back to shore because she was uh, being splashed. And, And so anyway, we got back and Another favorite memory is uh, the tubing. Um, I really enjoyed that. And the one time we uh, we hit a cross wave uh, from another boat. And honestly, I thought we were gonna fly right off the tube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the new rock climbing wall and uh, right. to see new, um, soccer pitch and maybe try a little golfing uh, on, on the golf new golf field. and. And, and that but uh, my main memory of Lake Joe is just meeting the people and talking and and you learn all about you know what their eye problems were and mm-hmm. it's just kind of put a, a meaning to going to camp to me it was very important to, just to talk to the people well I would agree with you Bruce I started working at Lake Joe in 2016 when I was 17 I'm partially sighted myself and I hadn't been exposed to people that were blind or partially sighted in my entire life. So going there was extremely eye-opening, pardon the pun, Uh, but getting to talk to you guys and getting to know everybody, it is such a huge part of camp. And uh, like Bruce, you mentioned, and so did Dawn, those, those porch evenings, if you will, are so important because that's when you make like the most meaningful connections, you know, all day, you spend all day out in the sun, hanging out with everybody, doing all the activities. But at the end of the day, you get to really connect and get to know each other and uh, form okay. those new relationships. It's, which like is- a, it's like the, it's like an end, like a nice end of the day, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to segue into our next question here. Um, Cause I'm very intrigued in hearing what you guys have to say. You guys have such wonderful insight. Why do you think that Lake Joe in person and Lake Joe at home virtual is so important to people? I think that if you have recently lost your sight, um, that possibly like going to Lake Joe is a good way to try to break the ice, try to get used to the fact that you have lost your sight. I, I, I just think it's a great uh, way to, to to get used to it i remember you as a roommate bruce yes <laughs> Phil, why do you think lake joe is important to people because because for like for for people that are blind and visually impaired they could get used to it um there's there's cabins with cabins with braille labels and print labels on the whatever well everything is made accessible at camp so that like what you and bruce are both saying if you are newly partially sighted or blind or maybe you're just looking for a new experience it's a really great way to dip your toes into the water of the world of accessibility and yeah. you know being a part of the community i'm gonna put my two cents in here again <laughs> yes Don. <please>. okay <laughs> um i would say the, the lake joe is important to people because you know, like it, it's all about connecting and, mm-hmm. you know, like you connect with people across Canada, you know, it's, it's a lot for a lot of us. And, and, and I'm speaking this in terms for myself, it's the only really vacation that we have. And yeah. some, like a lot, a lot of people, including myself, um, you only get to see people like that, you know, that don't live in your city. You only get to see them once a year. So I would say like the, the reason, the most important thing I think uh, that Lake Joe important is the, the, the connections um, that you yeah. make with people and the way we can interact and, uh, you know, just, it's just like being one big family. It's so true, Don. Yeah. 
And that's like the in-person camp experience. But I think it's also wonderful that in these trying times, we found a way to maintain those connections throughout the year virtually. Right. Yeah. And especially for staff as well. Uh, for example, I, I worked at camp for five years in person, and it was so wonderful seeing you all each year. Mm -hmm. But now through virtual, I get to talk to you guys every week and continue to make those connections. And same for you guys with each other too. So yes. Lake Joe has done such a beautiful job of being able to connect per people in person, as well as being able to really make it work in the hardest of times and connect everybody okay. again. Yeah. Now I have one last question for you guys, and then you guys can share any last thoughts after that, if you wish. My last question is if you could tell somebody one thing about Lake Joe, what would that one thing be? Bill, would you like to start? Yeah, my, my, I think my favorite, I think my favorite is, uh, is the, the, the talent show. So that's what you would want people to know. You'd want people to know about the talent show, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. It is such a really if awesome any, part any, of Lake anybody, Joe. If anybody, if anybody wants to do a skin and rake do for the talent show. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Don, Bruce. Okay, I'll go. Um, I would say, I guess to sum this whole thing up, I guess in, in a nutshell, just go to camp, have fun. Because every time, like on Peter's bus, like I, like we have a big, huge group from, uh, from Windsor. Right. And uh, it's called right. Peter's bus. And Peter, Peter has told us on the way up to camp, and I'm going to quote this, have fun. <laughs> so that's like, I guess that's my, that's the most important thing for me is to, to get up to camp and have fun. <laughs> yes, that is so true. What an important message to share also. Have fun and connect with people. Yeah. Just have fun. Bruce, what would you like to let well, someone know? <laughs> I, I guess I'd like to say just like Don, uh, have fun and make sure that you have tried out all the different activities uh, right. they you know like the the tubing or the tandem biking or yeah really like they're all fun yeah that's so true are you guys gonna try the new rock wall well see like me i'm sort of limited to what i can do because like if, if i mean yeah like if you're able to do these things get out and do it but for some that you know they may have limitations like with me right. i've got a bad back i can't climb so no i will unfortunately no. i will not be trying out the the rock wall However, oh. I wouldn't mind trying out the golfing. I've, I've never done that before. Right. That, that'd be oh, fun. Man. There's so many new things happening. There's the soccer pitch and then there's the new mini golf as well. So yeah. I think your point is really yeah. important, Don. While uh, it's important to try everything that you can, uh, at Lake Joe, there's something for everyone, regardless of your limitation. So I think that's a really wonderful point to, uh -huh. to share also. Don, I'll challenge you to the 20-foot putt on the golf course yeah I, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll, we'll see how we do with each other eh, bruce <laughs> are there any last final thoughts that you guys would like to share before i close out the episode i can't wait to see don in person i can't yes. wait to see you either bill i can't wait to yeah. see everybody oh man i miss you don oh i miss you too bill <laughs> that really goes to show the connections that we were able to make at camp thank you all thank you don bruce and Bill for being on this first episode of the podcast. It was absolutely yeah. wonderful having you. Thank you. Thank you. It was, it was my pleasure to be, to be selected and be on here. And thank you for inviting me. Mm -hmm. Of yeah. course. And I also want to thank the people listening to this podcast. I hope that you come back in the future and listen to more episodes because this is only the beginning. It's been a great experience. It, it has. is. It has Very been much. Yeah. awesome. It has. Okay, everyone. Bye. Bye All for now. Listeners. And uh, I yeah. hope you enjoy listening to us. And uh, I think you'll get a lot out of what we talked about. Yeah. All yeah. Right. I think you've enjoyed it. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Lake Joe on the go. For more information, please visit cnib.ca forward slash Lake Joe.